So Sammy here in the town. Marlena got shot by every day. He dated Nicole all over again. She tried to throw Eric and Sammy a um, birthday dinner. He declined that. So let's see how I'm old dating again. I'm pretty sure she's not going to like it. She's going to have a half a million questions to say about it. Okay, Incredible Hawk, what are you doing? So now you for the blackmail her now? Is that what we doing? Really? Well, this is childish, but I don't expect nothing less or more out of you, though. Is this what you finna call yourself trying to blackmail her now about Desmond's murder? Go, never mind, ain't gonna even must say it, but Brady, you know what you can go and you know what you can go do with it. Well, I see Paul finally then cracked. <laughs> Paul, you is not going to win in this situation. Like I said, I hope days at least bring one of your exes back that you at least had something good with or you got along with or you can reconnect you happy. Like I said, again, I'm sorry for you. Kind of feel sorry for you. But, yeah, you ain't going to stop Will and Son or something. I'm just telling this the second time. Um... I don't know, you might need to call one of your answers or what's going on with you, buddy, but yeah, I understand your frustration and all that, but you're a bitch, no, we'll need to. Oh my gosh, here come messy ass Lonnie. Lonnie, don't be messy today, please, for crying out loud. You and JJ and y'all being messy as hell. I'm kind of not here for you and JJ messy ass today. Lonnie don't start no mess, it won't be no mess. Fair warning. So we gonna be messy today. Talking about JJ suspension. Are you trying to get suspended too? Trying to defend him? I mean, what he did is undefendable. I ran him, well, suspending him, cause she do the same as that bullshit. But right is right, as wrong is wrong, and she the commission that she have every right to do that. Do you wanna get to sign it? Cause you more than welcome to also. Are you serious? So we just got done with Lonnie. and now we dealing with JJ. Him talking about being in pay. I'm so sick of him using page as an excuse to show his fast being a hypocrite today. It's not happening. Oh my gosh, this clown is trying to justify what he doing up here trying to blackmail the call. Brady, there's no justifying that. You lost Eric Warren on top of it. You kind of been a stalker lately. And you kind of been doing stuff you shouldn't be doing if you already have the girl. Unless you insecure in your relationship. So, a bomb. No, she just dropped a bomb on your ass. That was long solid. It was. Going around, getting your brother kicked out, get out of town. Trying to get Nicole fired from the job she liked. Running around, sneaking, thinking they doing stuff when they really wasn't doing nothing around here, freaking the hell. Brady, now you, I kind of feel sorry for you a little bit. But if you going to do this, oh, buddy, you going to lose all my fucks. And I hate for you to do that. So I'll cool it if I was you. Okay, Brady, now we feel to use the Harley excuse. Now you sounding worse than Dan's Please, Please, oof. Yeah, I'm starting to lose them one by one, Brady. You're not making any sense, Brady. What you saying? You sound like a scorned ex-lover. That's what you sound like. You sound petty and dumb right now. Here you go throwing it. You and Des most related because you sound a lot like him right now. Oh, my gosh. He talking about his zooming way up. <laughs> Paul, I can't be mad at you. I, I really can't. I understand your desperate and y'all understand why you on the edge right now. And you will. And I get it. I actually do get it, Paul. For once, I finally get where you coming from. Still feel sorry for you. <laughs> and I see that picture. So you asking for to have your daddy asking. Oh my God. So you asking for to have your daddy help you at Zoom Wheel Grave. <laughs> Oh, my God. Okay, Paul. 
and that's why you are professional. If you let a criminal upset you to the fact that you want to pull a gun out of anywhere and assault them, there's something wrong with you and you're in the wrong profession then because criminals do this all the time to cops, and it's amazing how they can keep their cool, but y'all too kind. We know y'all unprofessional. Lana, you ain't have to tell us. We already seen your unprofessionalism when it came to Lieutenant Rain. And we ain't gonna talk about JJ and his unprofessional ass. We gonna leave that one the hell alone. Lana, you not doing JJ any favors. Oh, even more mature, Brady. Now we calling her names. Okay, Brady. I see your maturity level and drop the couple. And we turn it into Hawk Green. Mm-hmm. Okay, Brady. So, fool boss, she want her. She just not getting back with Eric. He want her to break it. Brady. <laughs> okay, Brady. Oh, just like she broke your heart. That's really going to make your heart whole again, I guess, if you say so. Oh, so you seeing the edge of saying no. So now we guilt tripping even harder now, Paul. <laughs> guilt tripping, Paul. That's what we doing now, guilt trip. I, I, like I said, I get you. However, when it comes to um, he in that line, meaning he family on that side and he family with you, you making that man make a hard choice here and look like he going to make your choice. He said he just not knowing you. He don't know you that well. So he got to kind of make you happy regardless. Even if he do piss Marlene off once or twice. John, your son is placed right now. I'm telling you to zoom somebody's body like this. Also, oh, John decides to do it. Can't blame him. You got to make your son happy. You just have to deal with what Marlena, Kay, and the other ones have to say about this situation. But I go to make my son happy for 200 Alex too. So I don't blame you, John, at all for helping him do this a bit, I guess. So you are blackmailing her then, Brady. With this break every heart, I'm going to the police, bitch. So that means you going to get in trouble too. Because now you harbored her all this time attacked her illegally. So, you know what? If I'm in the call, I say do it. I dare you. Go right on here. Try me. Because you going down with me. So, you trying to blackmail her. Not knowing that you helped cover this shit up. You and Victor. So, that mean you both going down. Go ahead and I dare you. Go ahead and go to, go ahead and go to Hope and tell her this. She going to ask where it came from. She's going to say, how did you know this? And watch you go get arrested right on with her. So go ahead, Braid. I dare you. And then you have the audacity to tell her to break up with him, leave town, and I don't want to never see you again. So what you going to do when you end up seeing your brother? Attack him every time you see him? Because I'm pretty sure he's going to come back to Salem sooner or later. Like they said, the holidays are basically right around the corner. What the hell you plan on doing for Christmas and Thanksgiving? Not participating because you scared you're going to run into Eric. Very childish. Very child. Okay, Brady. Mm -hmm. I see you back on the petty boat again. Calm down. I read along with you, buddy. So you have fun. No call for the life of us. Do not let Brady fool you into thinking you going to jail. You is not going to jail for Desmond's murder. Y'all was drugged. Nicole, please think hard. Don't let Brady ruin your good thing just because he in the shitty situation where he is right thing because he want to be petty and dumb. Y'all might thought y'all were going to get away with it, but not, <laughs> not over Sammy Brady dead body. Y'all sure ain't. Hmm. She said, the fuck y'all live to that Zoom, my son, body. I know that's right, Sammy. And stop them in their trash. Don't even let them get started. Anyways, though, y'all, that was the episode. I'm going to get the like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all day, and have a good weekend. Bye.